Hey guys, what's up? Bargain Hobo here, and I'm finally doing this thing I meant to do for a long time, a response video to Nefarious West's top 3 retro games I did not grow up with. I meant to have this out a lot sooner, but life just constantly getting in my way. And I'm using my webcam right now because my camera died and I can't find the batteries or the charger right now. I, you guys know I move spaces. So unfortunately right now I don't have my camera so the webcam's gonna have to do for now. So again, I apologize how long this video took to make, but life. Anyway, everybody who does this video is going to have to define retro and grew up their own ways. For me, I'm defining grew up as post high school. So every, these are games I discovered after high school. And um, retro is PlayStation 2 era and before it. That's me. When you make the video, you can define these things however you want, but that's just how I'm defining my stuff. So the first game we're going to talk about is this bad boy right here. Zombie Revenge on the Dreamcast. I did not actually have a Dreamcast until this time last year when I bought it with my own money. It was $80, but it included the console, the controller, the power cords, and a couple games. A bunch of burn discs, too. So yeah, um, Zombie Revenge is the first game on this list. Oh man, where to start with this one? Zombie Revenge is a zombie beat em up on the Dreamcast in the same vein as House of the Dead, back made by the same people and takes place in the same universe. In this game you can beat zombies with your fists or shoot them up with a variety of different weapons, and if you love the voice acting in House of the Dead 2, oh man, you are going to love the voice acting in Zombies Revenge. It's about the same level of badness and I love it. We've got a variety of different play modes and I've only scratched the surface on this game. I'm going to keep it brief because, well, You'll be seeing this game on this channel real soon, trust me. So yeah, that was Zombies Revenge, and I kept it kind of short because you'll be seeing that game really soon here on my channel. For now, keep that in mind for later. But the next game I'm going to talk about is one that I enjoy, you might not. You know, look at my name, look at me. But the game is The Mummy on the PS1, and yeah, this is a generic jewel case with the manual and the bot and the disc um yeah when i bought this it only had the disc and the manual so that what you will take one look at this game and you'll know exactly what's trying to copy yeah the mummy is a blatant tomb raider ripoff but not quite as good as those games does that mean it's bad yeah well i don't think so so the game uses clips from the movie which i can't show you know copyright but the game does have its own cutscenes, and you can tell that's not Brendan Fraser voicing Eric O'Connell and he's sorely missed, but the standing guy does, and he does okay. But the game plays mostly well, for the most part, there are glitches, and I'll cover that if I ever cover this game. And the game is fun though, I, I do enjoy it, it's a lot of fun, maybe it's because I love the movie, I don't know, but either way, this game gets a pass from me, and I think you'd enjoy it if you really gave it a chance. So there you go, there's the money. I don't think I really did it justice this go around, but, you know, you can always, you can always cover it fully on my channel later. In fact, I think I will. Maybe not next Halloween, though. Maybe before that. I don't know. So the final game we're going to talk about is one that, um, the property on its base is one I loved when I was a kid. My brother and I would read the books all the time. Hopefully you guys had the same kind of thing. But the final game is Spy vs. Spy on the original Xbox. So if you've ever wanted to take on the role of the black or white spy and completely obliterate the other spy, you're in luck. The game lets you do that. This game is Spy vs. Spy on Xbox and is a remastering of the NES version. Spy vs. Spy has no shortage of gameplay modes. You've got story mode, classic mode, which is a remaster of the NES mode, and of course the battle mode where you and three friends can blow the crap out of each other. It really is a good time. I've played multiplayer and it's a lot of fun. Now sadly the game is kind of rare, so if you do happen to find it, please grab it. It really is a good time and I wish I had this game as a kid. But, so it goes. So there you go. Those are the top three retro games I did not grow up with. I had a bunch more. I was originally going to make this a top five instead, but decided to keep it top three for time constraints. So, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'd love to know, what are your favorite retro games you didn't grow up with? Let me know in the comments, or heck, make your own video. I would love to know. But here you go, Wes. Here's my stab at your video response. Take care, guys. I love you all. Hobo, out.